The trailer boat segment is a hotly contested area of the market because they're versatile and you can tow them anywhere. They're also available in a variety of different layouts. But what if I told you one manufacturer has managed to put a fully enclosed pilot house cabin on a five and a half meter platform? Don't believe me? Come and check this out. The Arvor 555 Sportsfish is a new size from the already established Arvor Sportsfish series, which currently extends up to 9 metres. The 555 weighs 1,860 kilograms on the trailer, which puts it below the 2,000 kilogram limit for electric brakes in New South Wales. It also means that you can tow this boat with a medium sized family SUV. It might be small, but the 555 is a very versatile platform. It's more than at home jigging, floating baits, or even trolling the deep blue. and I've just decided to float some pilchards down a trail and I think I've hooked a kingfish. It feels like a little king. Anyway, not particularly big, but they fight very, very hard. And it's a lot of room in the back of this boat, which makes it very easy. I'm trying to keep everything away from the other side of the boat where I've got lines still hanging out the back. The gunnel is nice and high. I can really lean against it and really put some pressure on the fish. And I have caught one of the other lines, but that's okay. He's grabbed a floating pilchard out the back. Not what we're after, much bigger ones would be nice, but it's not a bad one. They fight really well. We've got a little bit of a guest here. He's come around for dinner just out the back there, but I think I'll let this one go and see him grow a bit bigger. Not fast enough, champion. If you're really into your bait fishing, this is the perfect boat. You can sit here on the gunnel and float your baits out the back of the boat very easily while you're anchored up. The seat is pretty comfortable here. You don't really need one inside the boat. Most people will sit on the side. And as long as you're careful, it's a very comfortable spot to be. That's a stitch up. Oh, come on. Oh, no. This guy is not coming easily. So after I caught that king, I just changed up to a jig because they really school up. <laughs> I'm enjoying just hooking them and trying to, I've lost a few already, but this one seems to be a bit bigger. So I'm trying to keep him off the bottom. Oh, it's a larger Samson. Caught a few of these earlier. This one's a bit bigger. These guys are great fun to catch. It's a juvenile Samson fish. You can get them occasionally. They don't seem to get really big like they do in WA. But once they get bigger, they do lose the motley look and have a nice yellow stripe down the center. But they fight really, really well and they're a lot of fun on light jigs like we're using today. There are plenty of arvors all around Australia, but most of them sit on moorings or at a marina berth. This one in particular is a very versatile package indeed, allowing you to tow it anywhere while still having the comfort of the pilot house up front. By having a fully enclosed pilot house, you're able to stay out of the weather. And days like we're out on today, where we have a very strong 15 knot nor'easter, I'm completely safe and very happy inside this cabin. I'm not gonna get wet at all. And if I do get spray on the windscreen, simply a press of the button and it wipes it away. The helm position is well appointed and gives you good visibility all around the boat. The throttle control here is well within reach as are the switches for the windscreen wipers, bilge pumps, and lights. I can use the bolster and fold it up and lean against the seat and stand as I am now. There's also a platform down here which I can fold out and stand on top of if I want to. I find that I actually hit my head on the roof, so it's limited in its usability, to be honest. But everything else is here. The seat's reasonably comfortable, and certainly the floor is nice and flat to stand on. 
being a snub nose design, it does tend to push water a little bit when you've got the wind coming onto the nose. It sees the spray coming up and into the boat and it makes standing in the back corners a little bit difficult. At the end of the day, you wouldn't really want more than two to three people on a boat like this. The space is a little bit compromised in comparison to a centre console because the cabin takes up half of the boat. It may only be five and a half metres in length, but the Arvor Sportfish 555 does provide you with a little bit of comfort and relaxation should you need it. Up the front here, we've got a nice flat bed that runs up towards the bow, and there's a variety of seating options that you can put into the cabin here to create a nice comfortable bench seat through the centre. If you were all located in the pilot house while you're underway, it does change the handling of the boat a little bit. But if you're at rest, having a lie down is completely doable and very comfortable. For those that like to anchor up and burly, they can access the forward anchor locker via the walkway up the starboard side. By pushing the cabin entirely to the port side, they've created a nice walkway that is about a foot wide and very comfortable to use. There's also a handrail on the outside of the cabin roof to give you a little bit of extra security as you make your way up to the bow. Whether you like the appearance of the Arvor Sportfish range or not, you can't deny they're a very functional design. This sort of boat is perfect for someone who's after more comfort than they would get from another fishing type platform. The pilot house cabin is completely enclosed, lockable and very safe and dry. But you still have all the little bits and pieces that will make sure you have a lovely day out on the water and enjoy the fishing at the same time.